this is something that affects so many people and it's mold around the shower now it's a bit of an academic point but the mold exists because of the stuff we wash off our bodies the skin all that junk that's washed away every time we have a shower ends up on that silicon seal now silicon seals they say mold resistant mildew resistant forever whites one of the ones i use and although they have these additives in that stop the mold biting into the silicone if you like still doesn't stop it still doesn't solve the problem and i heard somebody say the other day you'll never get rid of it this isn't horrendous but it's had a fair amount of work and the customer is telling me that they spend a long time scrubbing and rubbing down here to try and get rid of this mold this is actually a ceramic chow tray so it's absolutely brilliant and you've got to be careful that whatever you use doesn't attack the shower tray so check that out a nice strong bleach so i must emphasize this is an old toothbrush the next thing we do is we get hold of the loo roll this is really a useful thing to do if you go away on holiday even if you're just going away for the weekend just before you leave and you've had your last shower give it a quick rub out clean it up and we've got to remember what's happening here with the mold is that the mold loves moisture and it loves warmth now we're going to pour the bleach gently down the back prevents the bleach from evaporating off there and now what you've got is constant contact with that mold some people might want to use a glove by the way if you look at the back of the bleach it'll tell you where gloves goggles mask everything like that and, and i i wouldn't argue with that at all i think that's perfectly valid information but get rid of this mold here by using this technique and then use that daily spray stuff and you will stop it so that's it that's all it is very simple tip make yourself up a bleach poultice make sure that your shower tray is not going to be affected by bleach in other words check the manufacturer's instructions and if it is then use something else you can use any kind of mold inhibitor do the same thing so long as you've got some kind of loo roll around there to hold it what is this it'll word? be fine what is this word you're saying poultice poultice how are you spelling that uh, p-o-u-l-t-i-c-e do you think that's right or not I don't know, I've never heard the word before. You've so. never heard poultice? It's a medical term. Oh, well, there you go, that would be why. But I only did half of med medical school. Did you, which half did you do? The second half. <laughs> <laughs> we cut off the air, we cut off its oxygen supply. If you're mold, it's a bad day for you. So the other job that the customer was talking to me about is that the shower waste is a bit slow running away and they said they keep putting bleach down there. There's an irony for you, isn't it? That they're putting bleach down there to clear the blockage. So let's just have a look at this. I don't, I don't like these little inch and a quarter shower tray traps at all, really. You know, the bigger ones are better. But some of them, let's just have a look, see if this is one. Oh yeah, there you are. Some of them come out so what you've got inside here if i can grab it is a little removable trap i think there you are oh. there's all the hair that's what's stopping it that's what's slowing the the flow down and that's probably a couple of weeks worth <laughs> no i don't know but surprising how quickly these things do clog up so it's a regular job that you've got to do and um, if you're lucky you'll find that your shower tray trap comes out and you can access it from the top if you can't then the other thing that you can do is get yourself a wet and dry vacuum cleaner and just try and suck it up 